Oh, it's been great. Love going around, talking to all the engineers, seeing how things are done, looking at all these mad things, getting to play with things, getting to sit in the cockpit of a plane. I'd say it's pretty good. give your support to this program, uh, you, you'll get uh, kids coming through who will be committed to you. Um, a number of the, uh, uh, the graduates <coughs> who I know have uh, gone to and uh, work with the companies that have been supportive and they, they couldn't have more dedicated uh, workers than those, those young people. But this is something which is intrinsically good and decent and worthwhile. It was all really the, uh, the idea of a guy called Jeff DeBell. So uh, uh, back in the uh, early 90s, Jeff saw there was a huge gap uh, between what was in the indigenous population in terms of talent and what we were seeing out in the field of engineering. And basically there were no indigenous engineers. So there was a, a gap of, uh, of, of both opportunity and communication. Uh, and Jeff said, well, I, I need to do something to fill that gap. So he got this idea of having the summer school bringing Aboriginal kids who are either in their final or just about their final year in secondary school, uh, have an engineering faculty at one of the universities host them for a week, uh, expose them to uh, not only um, oral expositions about engineering and its opportunities, but also take them to um, sites where they can actually see the results of engineering in action. I think the for us it's about education and people and you know giving back to you know the industry and the community. We're the fifth largest employer of people in Australia and we're also got the largest number of engineers working for us. So. At Leighton we learn a lot. We went it was more physical how we, we went around to the sites and checked out what they're doing out at the M2. So these basins are actually designed so that water flows into them. Basically, that when the water, all the oils will stay on top of the, of the water, so it keeps the water level to a certain height, and it actually allows the water at the bottom to drain out back into the system naturally. We've also got these things, which are called sandbags there, around to start form little mini dams that stop the water running and picking up all the loose particles and running into the creek. It's really interesting, like, it's pretty crazy how quiet it is under the bridges. I met several of the students that started with the summer school, then did engineering through our scholarship, and now are working for Leighton. So, you know, it's great to see that, you know, that full cycle and, and full journey that uh, people have been through. It's given me a bigger boost that, like, kind of always nervous that I wouldn't be able to get the marks and everything to do it, but coming here, it's been a confidence booster in that, like, the reassurance that they've picked me because they actually believe that I can get into the university and do it, it's been a really good thing. You all right? Uh, nerve wracked. Yeah, that's all right. You can, yeah, but once we come up here, you're going to be on these huge parts of metal that you can't see through. All right, so you will feel more comfortable up here. All right, well done. Yeah. The main thing that got me though, while it was going up, they've got ladders and you can see straight down. I just freaked out. And, but then you get back to the massive steel beam and you just, you can kind of focus on the ground. You don't have to worry about seeing out the sides or looking down or anything. Just, granite pylons, I thought they were actually the main thing taking the weight, but I actually looked at it closer. The top arch doesn't even touch it, so the, it's kind of held together by the road itself and the, the pillars going straight into the ground. That's pretty cool that they thought of that back then. Okay guys, big smiles! I did this like during the depression. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty insane yeah. engineering. <laughs> So here we've got a group of 21 Aboriginal students from across Australia being shown around the university and being introduced to engineering by Aboriginal students who are doing engineering. 
and that reinforces in their mind that this is a career that I could do and Sydney is a university that I could go to. One of the good things about doing engineering is it's curiosity that you know comes up with the most innovative ideas so it doesn't really matter what type of engineering that they do I think the educational aspects and you know the, the curious nature and the questioning and, and everything is really important. So it's about lifting our perceptions because perceptions are really important in our minds because they shape what we hope for, what we're prepared prepared to put out, you know, put out, you know, really sort of you know dedicate ourselves to. And and it's about what we're prepared to work for. So now that they can see others have done it, they know it's within their reach. I like the whole creation of like new technology, so developing new technologies to go in new aircraft or development of entirely new aircraft is really what I'm looking for, like mechatronic sort of. All the robotic and moving systems on the aircraft. It's definitely very interesting uh, being, uh, being inside one of the largest, or the largest passenger aircraft. And yeah, just because they are aeronautical and aerospace, so definitely a field I'd like to get into. Yeah, I, yeah, I find engineering quite interesting and yeah, I'd like to continue on with it. Any particular yeah. kind? I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I've still got to kind of talk to a couple of people, but electrical engineering kind of appealed to me and I found that pretty interesting, yeah. You're watching TV. No. So what we're actually asking um, the business, the Qantas business, is that to come with us on this journey and to have a long-term investment in this talent, very important for us that we keep concentrating on that level because in the medium term, we're looking four to five to six, seven years down the track, we really would like to see some more Indigenous staff um, within decision-making roles. I never really realised that I could really make it in the industry sort of thing as a really good career, um, but now obviously because of this summer school, you know, there's so many opportunities for us, um, for Indigenous kids, um, and yeah, absolutely, just, yeah, I'm sure now that I can really make a good career out of it. These guys who are coming through year 11 and 12 are the future engineers, surveyors, road designers, all of those things that we might be able to tap into. And the fact that they've shown an interest in these areas um, means that we've, we've almost got a bit of a live audience that we can really capture and, and, and move in with, which is why we look at doing very practical activities as part of this program um, and having them involved in some real-time activities so they can see what we do and how we go about it. We have very limited Indigenous representation in our higher education and the professionals within our industry and it is our hope that through this support of this program that these students might see the value of the minerals industry and choose careers even if they may not choose mining engineering or metallurgy or geoscience that they may choose supplementary careers in our industry. I was incredibly proud to be involved in, in the summer school and so our, and, and our staff are incredibly, um, they find it inspirational and motivational to be part of it, part of supporting the kids. I mean, it's, it's really great to see and hear about their experiences and hear that, how excited they are and to share what we know with them. It's absolutely stupid that we, we have this, uh, this people with this vast cultural tradition and attachment to this land and we're not giving them all the, the opportunity they have to develop the talents uh, so that they can both individually have a more satisfying life and also that they can equip themselves to, to do more to help their own people and the Australian nation. They're going to find out not just things about engineering, they're going to find out things about themselves. It's going to be a new, new experience for them and it's going to be some new horizons and I just encourage them to take a leap.